Hey builders, Matt from buildthatwebsite.com here. And today we're gonna be playing with sticky widgets. I'm gonna show you how to stick your widgets, even in a tire sidebar or footer using a free plugin or even just a few lines of CSS. I'm also gonna show you how to avoid some of the most common fails that I see uh, when people do this incorrectly. Ouch. So if you're ready, hit that like button and let's go. While it's possible to stick a widget with pure CSS, the best method for most users is to use a free plugin called Fixed Widget and Sticky Elements. Simply install and activate, and you're already halfway done. Then from the dashboard, go to Appearance, Widgets, to configure the widget that you want to make sticky. Note, I'm using the newer block-based widget editor here, but it works equally well if you've enabled the classic widget editor with the classic widgets plugin, or you're running an older version of WordPress. Once your widget is designed, it takes one click to make it sticky. In the block editor, select Fix Widget from the sidebar settings. In the classic editor, enable the Fix Widget option. Next, let's save our settings. And voila, it's working perfectly on the front end. You can even stick multiple widgets in the same sidebar. But this also highlights a common issue that can happen with overlapping elements. To avoid this, either move your sticky widgets to the bottom of your sidebar, or give them a solid background to fix the text overlap. Another common problem is that sticky widgets can overlap other sticky elements, such as a fixed header. So let's head over to the plugin options for even more customization. First, I'll set a minimum screen width so my sticky widgets don't block the screen on mobile devices. Next, I'll set a top offset so it doesn't overlap my header. And if you have a tall footer, you can also add its class or ID name so that the widget will stop being sticky as soon as it reaches that element. Note, the class or ID name for the footer is different for each theme. So to get the class name for your theme, right-click the footer on the front end and locate the footer element in the HTML. You can see that mine has the class name Site Footer. After applying these changes, there's no more overlap with the fixed header, and the widget stops being sticky as soon as it hits the footer element. You can also choose to stick the entire sidebar, or any other element for that matter. Simply add the class or ID of the element in the Custom Fixed Elements box. There are a few issues with this method though. For example, you can't specify a unique offset for each element individually. That's why I prefer to stick large theme components with CSS instead. For example, making a sticky footer is easy. Just grab the footer class and make it position sticky. Then give it an anchor point and an offset. In this case, bottom and zero pixels. As you can see, it's sticking nicely. For responsive controls, wrap this rule in a media query. For example, this rule means it will only stick on screen sizes over 800 pixels. Now, what if you want even more control? Like say you wanna display different sticky widgets in different areas of your site. Well, for that, you're gonna to need to watch this video right here, which shows you how to do exactly that and lots of other sidebar related goodness. Also make sure to subscribe. 